Okay, for 1b, they give us a list of zeros again, but pay close attention to the instructions. The instructions say, leave in factored form. So we're not going to expand this like we did for, uh, for 1a. For this one, we're, we're still going to start with the same procedure though. We're still going to do x minus whatever each of the zeros are. So we'll first start with x minus negative 5, x minus negative 2, x minus 0, x minus 1, and x minus 6. So that's the formula that you would use for all that. When we get our polynomial, we'll put the f of x here uh, with it. And then we're going to simplify. x plus 5, x plus 2. We just get an x here. x minus 1, x minus 6. Typically, if you get a single x term, it's customary to put that out in front of everything. Although, technically, this would still be uh, considered in a factored form. But I'm just going to move the x out front because, again, that's usually the case that uh, when you see these written, that's the customary way of, of writing it. So it says leave in factored form, and then that would be it. This would be your final answer. So pay close attention on number one. Either it'll tell you to expand or it might just tell you to leave it in factored form.